child who went to Noland. There, there once was a little boy named Ben who loved to play with all types of toys. For his birthday, his parents gave him a stuffed unicorn. Ben loved his unicorn so much that he wouldn't even let it out of his sight. He was in the middle of an empty room that had nothing but a wooden door. He started at the door, trying to figure out if it would be a good idea to see what's on the other side. He tried shouting for his parents, but no one came. Ben sat there, thinking of how to go back home. Anna and Eliza in Wonderland. This is a story about a magical garden. A garden so beautiful that has many beautiful flowers and fountain. And a bridge with a lake underneath it, had, it that has no end. It is a secret place that no one knows until now. One day, Anna and Elisa found a magical garden on their way home from school. That is how they met and became best friends. Today, while Anna was hiding from Elisa, she accidentally found a mysterious item with a diamond shape and pink color. Anna called Elisa and told what happened and wondered what it is. They decided to block it with this strange diamond shaped and pink item, because it will look nice. But the problem was, it was a little bit high from their reach. So they pushed the wooden chair, which was next to the fountain, next to the door. When they put the item inside the hole, it fitted perfectly, and suddenly a fabulous light sparkled from the door, which is connected to the main door of Wonderland. Because of their curiosity, they went through the mysterious light. You will never guess what was on the other side. Each direction you look, you will see something new. Okay. My favourite book is The Speak's Apprentice. In, my, in The Speak's Apprentice, my favourite character is Anna, because you don't really get a lot of her background, unlike the other characters in the story. And she seems very conniving, like she tricks how she tricks Thomas into freeing um, Mother Malcolm. My favourite book is Sound of Drums by Andy Coombs. The best character is Gran. She, she seems like a free spirit and she likes to joke around. She's an artist and she encourages Jason to dance or drum, like play music. She never seems the type that will cry. Confidence is a preference for the habitual voyeur of what is known as A morning suit can be avoided if you take a route straight through what is known as John's got brewer's fruit, he gets intimidated by the dirty pigeons They love a bit of him Who's that gut lord marching? You should cut down on your pork life mate, get some exercise
Yeah.